Hi, Mons here again. This is the last vid, but I don't like to say the word last, but the final vid in Gaming Solutions Screwed Ups or Screw Ups, in other words. Right? I don't want to cuss right now because it'll make it look very immature, but I'm just gonna say Screw Ups. Right? So, Mods one side, okay. Hi, everyone. I'm going to show you all uh, Xbox 360 Jasper Big Block. Right, 256. Um, this person had this Xbox 360 for almost four years, and what has happened was that the second year when he was about to modify it, he sent it by these in, these guys. That was the time. No, yeah, wait. This system was manufactured in 2008. So yeah, in 2009 he went to carry it to modify. Yeah, 2009 he went to carry it to modify and. I don't want to get the full details, but basically, let me point it this way, right? That time the light on drive was still a prototype. It, the mod hasn't been released for it as yet. However, there was a mod where it could, it could actually be modified, but using a different drive. Um, they have tried to modify themselves and start to say that they lost the drive key. Now that key is to allow the drive to run the backups or the, the game in other words once it have that key and it matches with the board it allows the game to play if it doesn't have the key in the right in the right order what happens is that the system will just say play dvd and it'll just leave the system like a dvd player right because of my technical background and because of the high end electronic skills i have don't mind this shop is only eight by six but what is up here is something amazing and they will kill for that anybody will kill for that right now so let us get to the point here right so this is a i'm oh, sorry the it underneath this xbox here this is a 256 megabyte big block jasper was modified by sorry was ruined by gaming solutions in san juan that was before there was in grandy right so what has happened was that they lost the key and they gave back the guy his system and i don't know if they gave him any money because i didn't want to go to full details about it right and he just had a system pack up here and he ended up buying a new system so he came by me to come to get some games because he got his system modified by a different institution no not zero media um an next institution i don't know i think he got it modified right he bought it modified that is so he come by me for games because the other people had the game and i had it so he said boy you just modify the system i was like well yeah he said, boy, I guess I, said, I have an Xbox there. It damaged was by gaming solution. They know what they're doing, and they just give it back a system. I said, well, did you ask back for your money? I don't know what happened, but they just give him back it. And, like, the, you know, they just, they, like, you know, like, they was like, screw it. Take your system and go. Bye-bye. That kind of way. And he was very distraught. Now, you know the amazing thing? They get away with that, you know. They get away with that. Atiban Kwame Daniela get away with problems like that now if it was me now i had to go and scrape and look for a system and give back that customer that oil says whoa and he gets away with that right i let you all know i dedicate my my life to electronics i eat breathe sleep drink shit piss sweat not to mention spit and take out snot out of my nose full of electronics right and the entertainment industry is what i love i love the entertainment industry just like how i love my body art right so back to the program with this xbox right so they lost the drive key in the system okay when i got the system the whole system was in a mess literally in a mess so i am going to play i'm going to show you guys a fully repaired recovered xbox 360 the guys coming fit for tonight let me turn it on now i'll show him the dustless modification and he said dude i love it but he's not ready for it right now so i am i have all respect for him I have all respect for it. I am not going to force him with no less murders yet because he now spent a good heap of money in getting this thing back up and running. Right? So, we are now synchronizing control. 
with the system here. So that's it here. So we press the eject button. We're going to play very basic simple game. Rainbow Six Vegas. I think it's working, but let me see. Okay. Copy. <coughs> Take a look at this guys. Take a good look at this. Please read. <coughs> Take a good look at this guys. Tell me what you think. Four years this Xbox 360 was packed up under a bed. Four years. And it's back up and running. Back up and running. What gaming solutions have to say about that? What Mr. Atiba and Kwame Daniel have to say about that? They will use this as an excuse and they'll say, oh, I must be just do that for spite and this and that. No, no, no. This is facts. This is facts right here. Atiba and Kwame Daniel have no fucking idea how to run a business and how to do electronics on the whole. Mind my language. Right? They have no idea how to run a business. They do not have an idea what is electronics. They went business school, that is all they went but business school. Business school haven't, he, haven't taught you guys about experience. Y'all are so fortunate y'all haven't got a pipe to head as yet. Not from me, but from somebody else who is very ignorant. And I don't care if you all have police friends and that kind of thing because I will tell you something. Not all the time they go save you. I have police friends as well and they never... They, they wouldn't be there as well so i'm going to let you guys know the people of grandi sawan and other environs right be very very careful who you are carrying your system by and not just carrying but where you are purchasing your systems from because when systems get damaged you all put stress on us technicians and when you put stress on us technicians it gives us a very hard time to fix but it's a good thing the guy was very very polite and i was very polite with him i treat him like a family now this is the nicest thing about us ladies and gentlemen mods inc treat everyone like family mods inc treat everybody's system like if it's theirs and you see these systems that i have just showed you guys i treat all these systems like if it was mine the, i consider them my babies if anything goes wrong with my babies i just know and when i get out of work i say hey she given some problem again i will tell you one time listen stop what you're doing bring it back i will take care of it and i will see what i have done wrong that is the level of faith i have with my systems and your entertainment that is that, trust me we have our next branch as well fair point trading Fair point trading. Fair point trading. Behind Ramesh and Lila, Plaza 32, downstairs. Trust me. That's my mentor. He showed me what it is. How to be a man in the industry. Not no fly by night mango tree technician. Right? So I want you all guys to know be very careful who you're sending your system by and who you're sending systems to modify by. Because let me tell you something. They go see the modifying system and behind their back they're doing a lot of shit to your system and you don't know what is going on and then you will watch the system as is here right now it will be looking absolutely normal but when the technician open up it inside when the technician open that inside you know how ridiculous inside it is look ladies and gentlemen i want you all to know this rose Modzink is back. And not just Modzink is just back. Modzink is here to cut ass for 2013. Right? This time it's personal. It's personal. 
from gaming solutions to gaming concepts this is personal now you all want to mess with me for the past five years now this is my time to retaliate and you better do even say that i cannot retaliate because you could continue doing what you want no this is a free country i can ever do what the hell i want and let me tell you something i'm going to put each and every one of you all on blast on youtube because this wrongs i am not tolerating no shit. this wrongs i am after my people and not just after my people i am after my work and this work puts bread and butter on my table for my pet for my family to eat happily not stressed out and you're ripping everybody off every day ripping people off not this wrong this is much one side both speaking here and i want everybody to share every single thing that i just post up here that the whole world and not just to the whole world but to the people of trade and tobacco because why i am fed up i am sick and tired of the bullshit sick and tired of a lot of these gaming institution bullshit have no idea what they're doing and at the end of the day want to embarrass people and make it look like if we don't know what we're doing i am fed up i am fed up i am sick and tired of this shit. as i say again i remind granny people open your eyes open your eyes and realize who is the one doing the work Six eight six seven nine seven three. Feel free to give me a call. Any systems you have, any handheld, let me know. Even down to, even down to laptops, I repair. HP laptops. I am specialized in HP laptops, right? Nobody else doesn't do the laptop repairs. I'm telling you why. Because it's complicated, right? Laptop repairs. Even down to speaker repairs, I am, I am performing as well. For the fellas who like to do car shows and SPL and that kind of thing, trust me, give me a check. I will hook you up real good. I will hook you up real good. Right? I have a good reputation in what I'm doing here right now. Internationally recognized. Right? So I'm going to let you all guys know. Spread this video around. Let everybody know the stupidness that Gaming Solutions has been doing to the people at Trade and Tobago. This is Mods Bonsai Book speaking. We will link.